teenage girl was critically hurt this morning trying to get to school. She is the latest in a list of children hit by cars in Polk County this school year. Eight on your side's Polk County Bureau reporter Stacy De Silva explains what changes are already being implemented. As part of the Polk County Sheriff's Office investigation into a crash that injured a teenage girl, it's also looking into whether there's adequate lighting near a new school along a highway in Davenport. Police lights and caution tape welcome students to Davenport High School Tuesday morning. We can't see another kid get hit because they don't have any resource uh, to put out here at least in an hour or two in the morning. Frank L. tells News Channel 8 he drives his two daughters to school rather than let them walk on County Road 547. I also requested for them to put the yellow lights on the, on the speed limit uh, blinking in the morning. That way the speeders could see it. I haven't seen that. But that is now changing. It all started when a 15-year-old young lady, Valerie Cosme, was on her way to high school at Davenport High School. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says the teenager was hit by a box truck Tuesday morning while she was walking in a crosswalk near the high school. The truck driver, the sheriff says, was driving below the speed limit. On County Road 547 in front of the high school, there are no street lights, so that's under investigation as well. The teenager was last listed as in critical condition. As a result of this, the Polk County Public School Superintendent has changed the crosswalk lights to turn on when high schoolers are walking to school in the dark, over an hour before they previously did, only for elementary and middle schoolers. The school district says this is the third student hit by a vehicle on their way to Davenport High School since August. Still to come at 5, hear how a different teen's death brought light to a dark bus stop just last week. Reporting in Polk County, I'm Stacey DeSilva, 8 on your side.